decided to study at Brit School because I wanted to further improve my musical abilities, techniques and knowledge of the music industry. I found that it was the best for technical theatre. I find it really easy to express myself through music. Everybody gets on with each other and everyone respects each other. You know, you can wear whatever you want, you can be who you want to be, and also from that, get the training that you need to get and the confidence to go and, you know, go into the performing world or go and study more. The Brit School is different from other schools in many, many ways. The main thing is we focus on you know, performing arts, vocational training and technical theatre arts and media and things um, about going into working the business in that respect. And of course it's the only free performing arts school in the country. We're performing today to about 3,000 primary school children. I was so nervous, I knew I didn't go on stage. One of my songs are in the show and um, Definitely very nervous about it. But as soon as I got on stage and I saw the children and they had an amazing reaction to it, you kind of just relax into your role and just do what you're meant to do. And the fact that there's so many people doing it with me sort of like encourages me. Our strand is very, very busy. We do every show at the college and everything. So it's, we don't really have time to be nervous. Just get on with it and do, do what we can to the best of our ability. I really admire Kate Nash because she came from theatre into music. We're not all just music, we all have different talent and she shows that from the school, she's not the norm. I'd probably say Leona Lewis because I think it takes a lot of guts to go in for something like um, X Factor. It takes tremendous courage to really, you know, even just perform in front of the judges. Amy won't have way. It's because of the amount of sticks she's been through and all the publicity and everything. I think she's pulled, managed to pull through it and but take for granted, but she still manages to go out and put on a good performance and do well. Got loads of inspirations, there's so many. George Benson. Delta Goodrim, Neil Sedaka. There's Miles Davis. Kylie Minogue, really like her stuff. Actors like Judy Dench and stuff like that who are idols and you know who have made it and just stay to themselves and they're true to themselves and just do every character exactly how it's done. Have to be Muse, I'd say. It's not my sort of music too much, but it's the fact that they're well known for their famous lighting designs mm. and all the lasers and the things. So I'd love to do it for someone like Muse, uh, Wembley or Glastonbury. People like that, really. And my mum. My former students uh, do an absolute range of things. We've got some students who um, totally change their minds when they're with us and realise that being a performing artist is just not for them. We've got students who go directly into like, vocational school and carry on training and then want a career in the West End. We've got students who've done community projects. I want to go on to drama school and carry on studying and then hopefully get a part on hopefully TV or film or, you know, stay in performing arts. Go to music college, um, either Guildhall or Royal Academy or something like that. Hopefully my aim is sort of to be a lighting designer or anything on a concert, like tours, Glastonbury, Reading. This piece was totally written for the age group, you know, Key Stage 2. Um, so we thought of, we, we did some research on what they enjoyed learning about and we wrote the piece on uh, the theme of World War II and children being evacuated, so the main characters are children. Obviously they get to see the, the skills that our students are developing. I think it was really a collaboration between all the strands at Brit School. I think it was great that they were all able to communicate with each other and interact in such a way that they put a, sh a great show together. And Everyone went, was so good, and everyone had so much energy. The school kids absolutely loved it. To see them booing when the bad guys came on and really kind of screaming out for the people when the good guys are coming on, that's what you want. It's about giving something back to the local community. Mm -hmm.